little steak things to like put <laughs> put in the yard, you know. It says I'll be back. Rip. And then we got like some little welcome signs. Be better. Right, these little shorts is what I got. I think these are super cute. I know you're thinking like, isn't it about to be winter? But we still got some time left. And the vision I'm having for these, I got a vision. I got a vision and it's gonna be fun. And we can probably walk through like, cause I'll need shoes. Whatever shoes I decide to wear for this, I'll probably end up wearing like slides there and back. And I think I'm just gonna wear like my black Adidas because when we went that our work in progress this is what we got going on here and I showed you the other side
guys, um, happy Saturday. So the power's out. There was a really bad storm last night and around like eight o'clock, nine o'clock. You could hear it and we actually saw the transformer blow. So it was like, ugh. and we have a generator, but something's like going on with it. So we're either gonna have to call somebody out here to look at it, hopefully, the lights just come on. But I guess in the meantime, we decided to just get out of the house because there's really nothing to do here. Like it's only so much we like can surf on our phones, but then we don't really have any way to char charge them other than the card. And then the boys are like playing with all their toys and stuff. I got some reading done this morning. I read, you know, Atomic Habits that I got like at the beginning of the year when I went to my sister's trip to Jamaica. I have not had time to read it, so I was like, you know what? I got through like four chapters, and honestly, I'll probably read a little bit more t tonight or something. Hopefully, um, we have candles and stuff, so I'll still be able to read even if the power's not back on. We're still trying to contemplate, like, do we need to be, like, leaving? Like, how long is this going to be? They said somebody from the uh, electric company was out in the neighborhood because Jermaine was outside talking to neighbors and stuff and was saying she... Is like in the area working on stuff, but she doesn't have an ETA. So there's a little bit of hope that maybe today it'll be one. So that's why like when I was filming the laundry and stuff, it's like dark because there's no power. So we are going to get out the house and do some Halloween shopping. So Jermaine actually got some stuff already, like the little uh, grave signs and stuff that you stick in the ground. He bought quite a few of those. So we really only need like the lights that line the sidewalk, the stuff that I wanted indoor, which was just like pumpkin pillows and like a throw blanket. I said I was gonna decorate the piano stand, but I'm just, me and Jermaine can talk about it on the way there because the boys, that's like a toy to them. And I can just see like fixtures breaking, things all over the place, like, I don't know yet, but we really wanted to decorate outside. Get, um, I think he said like the cobweb stuff, for the door, we'll get the ideas, you know, as we go, but like something for the door, a mat, a welcome sign, and the lights that line the sidewalk are the main things, which you know how you get there and then just, <laughs> or maybe that's just me, get there and then start doing stuff, and then the pillows and the throw blanket for inside. I'm pretty excited because I'll talk about it when I'm ready, but it's a lot going on with me health-wise, and I'm just, I need some happiness, <laughs> so, really excited about this um yeah so let's take a shower I will get back with you guys oh and I got a lot of my stuff that's been coming in everything that I've ordered is in and there's like two more things I want to order but I want to they're both from Fashion Nova and I just kind of want to place them at the same time I also want to do my return so I didn't remind me about that is UPS open all day on Saturdays I hope so because I want to use the credit to apply to the things that I want to get. I want to get like this sweater dress thing that I saw as well as like a two piece track set. Track set is sold out in all sizes. So I hit a notify me thing. So when it comes in stock, I'm just going to pull the trigger. Even, you know, we're just going to have to get everything even if I haven't returned the items because clearly everybody else likes it too. So I'm going to take a shower and then when we'll talk. I guess when we go, we're thinking Dollar Tree and Walmart, but Jermaine went to Walmart to get the signs, but I think we're going to hit up Dollar Tree first, so, later. Thanks, these are these. Oh, I'm thinking like the squeeze, right? Like the ones that stick? Yeah. Okay, so which one is yeah, There's plenty. Yeah, tell my shit. Let's go to one Huh? Yeah, but different dogs. Oh, yes. Okay. Hey, guys. So, we are back from Halloween shopping. And I wanted to do a quick haul. And I got to show y'all the stuff. Like the clothing stuff I got, and we'll save that for tomorrow because I'm exhausted. And I got my Qdoba, and I want to watch Man on Fire. So let's just talk about what we got. Went to the Dollar Tree, and we got a bunch of the little solar steak lights. We just 
Jermaine just grabbed the box and then put everything we wanted in it. So we have kind of far away, like I haven't zoomed in, so hopefully that's good. Um, we have a little ghost. We got four things, a ghost, the little eek signs, and then pumpkin, and then a skeleton. So those are the four steak lights that we'll have outside to line like the sidewalk. Then, is it easier to just get down here? Probably so. Then we have the like Halloween super stretch spider web so we can like put it on the door. We got this from Walmart. We got two bags of that. Jermaine went and got this I think yesterday. Just a bunch of little also little steak things to like put <laughs> put in the yard, you know. It says I'll be back. Rip. And then we got like some little welcome signs. Then uh, beware. And another beware go back. So I will show you guys as we're doing this, like decorating. We just can't do it yet because the weather has been horrible and we just need a day of no rain. It's been raining all week. So as soon as we get a nice fall autumn day, we'll go outside and we'll decorate. So all of that pretty much was from the dollar store other than the cobwebs. I got this from the dollar store. Got me some socks. Got some, some knee-high socks. This one is just like a haunted house. And then this one says trick or treat. Thought they were fun because they're knee-high. And then I'll put these in my drawer. Please hope. Then we got just Happy Halloween, like little bat sign to hang up on the door. Um, why is everything dark all of a sudden? It's almost like we need to like reset. Cause it was like really bright at first, right? Am I tripping? And then that's what this looks like. I thought this was super cute. Then we got this from Ross. Whoa. It, oh, upside down. <laughs> got us a little welcome mat for Halloween. Says, Jermaine, it says from some movie. Oh, it's down at the bottom. Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. So, got that. As well as like a little tape that goes all over your door. This one says, like, beware. No, it doesn't. It says, keep out, beware. <laughs> I'm going to take these out and put these on the top. This in there. Got a, little, got a little bin to put everything in to keep it organized. Then Jermaine thought it would be cool to build like a fence. You know how like most of the time you have like your porch and then there's like right next to it is like you can put flowers or create a little garden. We're going to fence that off with like these little things and that's probably where most of those like some of those beware keep out like signs will go. So we got like five of these. They're just like little skeletons. Then we're going to put these in a window. Those spider webs, like I'm so excited. I feel like we hit the jackpot. Yes, welcome sign. Could not find it. Like we went to three different stores. My hair is absolutely insane. I just I had a headache. I took it out of the ponytail I had it in, but I'm about to go to bed, so it's okay. Um, literally, we can find it out of three stores. We went to Ross, we went to the Dollar Tree, and we went to Walmart. No welcome sign. So the interesting thing is like, I feel like I didn't even see welcome signs at Walmart in general. I was like, are we looking in the wrong section? Because I wanted to go back there, like where a lot of like the, you know, like where you find, I don't know, this Walmart has been remodeled, so I really don't know. But now 
but now it's like um, Christmas back there. It's Christmas and Thanksgiving, so we didn't even bother to go back there. But yeah, that's everything. I will talk to you guys in the morning where I'm looking more presentable, and we can talk about all the like little fall pieces and getting ready for trips and stuff that I have going on. Bye, bro. <laughs> all right, later. Hey guys, happy Sunday. We are headed to get our nails done. Um, I was finishing up my video because I skipped a week and I want to still get something out. I have two videos. So I want to get the video that was supposed to go out on Wednesday, today, on Sunday. I couldn't get it all finished because I needed to make my nail appointment. When we get back, hopefully it's done extracting so we can upload, get that out there. And then I need to do Jeremiah's hair. And then when his hair is deep conditioning, I'm going to show y'all the haul of like all of the things because we really need to hang this stuff up. When I have all of that stuff just like at my desk, it looks like chaos. And honestly, I'm not like right now, I'm not gonna order anything, but at least in the next week or so, I'm gonna be ordering more stuff. So we need to clear out that stuff because I'm trying to get ready for my trip in November. Then I don't know what I'm gonna do for my birthday because originally I wanted to go to Seattle um, once we hit October 3rd my birthday is a month away and I don't I don't have a single plan I wanted to go to Seattle me and Jermaine and we were probably gonna go with the boys just you know a whole family little trip but he's been talking to some people at work and just asking questions and basically people who's been to Seattle before are like no that is the worst <laughs> that is the worst time of year to go to Seattle is in November so I'm like I don't even I haven't even thought of anything else so I don't know I need to figure out what we're doing there but yeah I'm gonna show y'all the haul because I'm excited about it we got some stuff from Fashion Nova and Shein but we, we almost here my appointment I'm like basically gonna be walking in and it's gonna be time because my appointment's at two so I'll talk to you guys when it's time for the haul okay bye Alright guys, it is time. I need to like stack y'all up just a bit more. Oh. 
How's that? Perfect. Let's turn a little bit. Okay, perfect. I'm still looking just as crazy as I looked yesterday. I think this week I'm just going to wear my hair in a back bun. And Jermaine's homecoming is this weekend, right? So I'm just going to do my hair Thursday night because I'm off work Friday. I think, wait, I think we're leaving Thursday. So maybe I'll do my hair like Friday, but I'm just, it's okay. So we are going to do a haul. We are going to, I gathered everything that's from my desk so that we can do this haul because it's just way too much going on over there. And like I was telling you earlier, like in the next two weeks, I have like two more things to order, three more things to order. And then that's just to get ready for that trip. And then I got to figure out like what the birthday vibes are. And it's one more thing. Oh, I just wanted to get some stuff like for the winter as far as like stuff for, you know how when I first started my job, I got a whole bunch of like office wear for like, it was kind of summer, kind of transitional. Now I want like some cute comfy cardigans and sweaters. I've already been building my wish list since we are already talking about it see this is I love having my camera so that I can show you guys these things Jeremiah's deep conditioning so I'm like oh let's do this then once I'm done I can do his hair then laundry and then I'm done for the day where is she in okay so for sure I know about like maybe four of these items okay so one of my items is already sold out like this is the issue with things that everybody likes like this is like a cardigan but it's sold out but just like some pants these button downs i really like that not for work but it's just something about the hood the hood remember the hood from Jam jamaica is a vibe and then this little sweater this i was thinking like thanksgiving this is a cute dress this could be a birthday dress See, stuff is selling out. I like that jacket. I already got this stuff. I think I'm about to show y'all. What's this, though? Oh, it was a flannel. See, the stuff I be liking, everybody else be liking, too. So, stuff be selling out. So, that's why I said I'm trying to give it some time. Come on, color. Correct yourself. It was, like, doing good. Now, it's all, like, yellow because I had the phone up against it. But, um, but, um, yeah. So, I'm trying to build what I want, obviously, We'll talk about it, but stuff is like selling out like crazy, so we don't even know what it's going to look like. But you know, I'm trying to get the vibes. Some of this is work, some of this, like that dress, I think would be really cute for my like my birthday or like a birthday, like even if it's not birthday celebration, but say if we go to eat or something, you know, just I like that dress. So, yeah, working on that. I always got to do a 20 hour rant before we get started. All right, let's do this from Fashion Nova. This should be the pants that I already showed y'all, but in the right size. The other one I have to return. It's in my car. I may do it. I'm definitely going to do it this week because I didn't do it this weekend. So these pants, whoa. <laughs> I'm about to slip these on right now because these look huge. We just can't find a balance, but I got time. So these are some pants I'm gonna wear for my trip in November. So we're gonna get it right, guys. I'd rather it be too big than too small. So if these are way too big, we're just seriously gonna go to the tailor. Because I wanted a 1X that was out of the 1X, so I got a 2X, and I just can't get my life together. Yeah, these are way too big. So we'll get these, they're not, yeah, these are huge. So we'll get these tailored. I needed the 1X. <laughs> I'm not taking these back. I'm just showing you these these are this is not a try on haul i'm just showing you the items but we'll take these to get tailored we got like i said we got plenty of time to worry about these imagine that like girl get it together i knew i needed a one x i just need to be like patient uh, i don't even know if they're back in stock but i'm gonna why am i putting these back in the bag i'm about to hang all this stuff up so that nothing is over there. These, okay, these I'm gonna put them over there just because they need to be taken. I'm probably gonna put these in my car too. 
So if an opportunity presents itself, I can just go get them tailored. One bag is better than a million. This is from Shein. So stick with me now. I got these shorts. They're like, can you really see? Like I feel like normally when I sit down, you can see better. All right, these little shorts is what I got. I think these are super cute. I know you're thinking like, isn't it about to be winter? But we still got some time left. And the vision I'm having for these, I got a vision. I got a vision and it's gonna be fine. I'll show y'all. But as I said, I'm getting ready for a trip. And as things come together, I don't know what to do. Like, is this like blinding? Or is it like, I think we'll be okay. So yeah, these are the shorts I got from Shein. And then this is, I'm guessing, Shein. For a trip or anything in particular got me just I love these crop hoodies <laughs> so I just got a crop hoodie I know the other one isn't this gray it's like this is actual gray that other one has a lightness to it see the difference so I needed an actual gray one because sometimes when I'm trying to wear it to work I'm like this is not this one's not gray so, got that. We'll hang everything up once we're done. Because I already bought me some hangers. We're good to go. And we got oatmeal. <laughs> got me a cropped oatmeal hoodie. Same thing, different color. This was just in the dash. I already seen this, so I just need to hang it up. My Halloween, my Halloween jacket. We're just gonna put that in the back of the closet because it doesn't have any use yet. I think today is like perfect day to do all of this because get rid of it trash day tomorrow. Okay, then we got threw it away and I was about to do it again <laughs> I was like wait a minute they, need, they really need to put the jewelry like I don't know because <laughs> that's the second time I'm almost throwing away the jewelry like maybe like in a little box like within something like Put the jewelry in a box in a smaller bag and send it like within your other stuff, but bigger. Like, I don't know, just something to where it's obvious. Am I the only one having this issue? Because it's the second time I've almost thrown away the jewelry. So I got me a Scorpio necklace. It's like, it's like the Bubble K I bought, but my Zodiac sign, so I'm a Scorpio. This is what she looks like. You see her? Isn't she gorgeous? Hang that up. And then, 
Did I show you my nails? You can probably see it in this lighting, but like, look, look. It's like a plum almost. You don't have to deal with me turning lights on and off until I figure out what, what, what. It's hard for you to tell on the camera and then when you play it back, like you'll be like, ooh. So we'll see. Then I got another necklace. It's like a cuff, but on a necklace. And I may have just tangled this bad. Okay. Yep, it's like a little cuff. You see it? It's like a little cuff. I thought this was really cute. So I got those two. That's the jewelry. I don't know, you guys, what was the thought process, but I don't know. So I got this, I mean, this almost looks like a blanket. <laughs> it's this gigantic yellow. <laughs> I may wear this to Jermaine's homecoming. It's comfy, but it's yellow. Like, I am not kidding you. This thing is yellow. <laughs> There's always one thing I buy to be like, you know what? We gonna make it work. You already know, but it looked like a little robe. But I look crazy. But I'm thinking, Jermaine, that color is like green, yellow, black. I may wear this to his homecoming um, next weekend. So that's that. But look at this. It's like a. It's like literally like a big quilt. Got that. And then we have. I think this is the only pair of bottoms I got in this entire haul. I just thought these were cute. They, they're not like they're two stripe, but they're like, are they like joggers? Okay, I don't know how to explain it. It's like the cross comes in front. You see how it's like coming in front of the leg instead of on the side. Thought that was cute. We're gonna try these on because my tall self, I'm getting a little worried. These are gonna be crease. Oh no, they just look like that. They're good. Can you see them? Absolutely not. They're good. They're these to work. That's what I was thinking when I bought them. I was like, these are going to be some work pants. Casual, road trip, airport, all the things. Did I get these in a 2XL or extra large? Yeah, I got these in a 0XL. Okay, got that. Y'all seen the dresses? Like I said, this is my opportunity to hang up everything. you this one gives Beetlejuice. I can wear this for Halloween or something. just got like a little cami brown little cami I'm gonna wear it under the jacket I'm about to show y'all literally nothing special just need something to go under this jacket and today I bought this little cutie when I was at Target little everyday bag I know you're like you're always talking about something as an everyday bag <laughs> but this is really an everyday bag you know This is the jacket. 
I'm gonna wear that brown. It's like a navy blue. I'm gonna wear that brown thing I just showed y'all underneath this. It's like a little bomber situation. Thought this was really cute. I'm trying to figure out, but I think I wanna wear these with the pinstripe pants. Like with the brown undershirt and those pants. We just gotta get the pants fitted. But yeah, this is the jacket. Last but not the least, pretty little thing. This is like a whole luggage. Okay, I've been wanting one of these since I worked at Kohl's and I never pulled the trigger on it because it was so expensive. And it wasn't expensive at Pretty Little Thing, but at Kohl's, these things was like $100. And even when they went on sale, they were still expensive. So hopefully it gives like the same, but those big, 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 like Sherpa, almost like robe jackets, you either hate them or love them, right? But every time I see them on somebody, I'm like, oh, I wish I would have gotten it. So I got it this year. Is it gonna be this cold? I have no idea. But I was not going another year without this coat. <laughs> Let's put this down some so I can scoot back and y'all can really get the gravity. Like, look at her. Look at her. I love it. Like, I could not wait. When I saw this, I was like, we're getting her this year. Like, as I say, you either hate it or love it, but I've always wanted one of these. So, yeah, guys, that is everything that we got. Um, like I said, I got to finish up, like, Sunday chores, but obviously long overdue. I'm about to, you'll probably see me a little bit, but I'm gonna just go ahead and like hang up stuff and get stuff organized. Lighter, so you guys can actually see me. 
or maybe we can just like just listen to the sound of my voice because I feel like talking because I realized my video went out yesterday and the end of the clip was the yoga and the vines right and I never really got to talk about it because it was the last clip of the video and I never like took the time to I never took the time to basically do a recap Wee. low key was like a lot because let me turn that down low key was a lot because Tasha right it was her birthday celebration she chose to do like I said it's called yoga in the vines you go to a vineyard and we was all kind of unclear about the concept I had never heard about it and from what Tasha was describing once we got there she wasn't sure either but we gathered that it was literally not just a play on words like you was going to be doing yoga in the vines like out there in, <laughs> out there in the in the vines you know where the grapes and everything were at we were trying to figure out and pinpoint where it was at but obviously you could tell from the clips it was pouring rainy like eventually it stopped but i mean when we it was like a drizzle on the way there by the time we got out of the the uh car it was pouring like needed umbrellas and they had signs everywhere that there was a wedding so this is um a venue that you can also do weddings at as well this light still ain't fixed y'all this light has been broken since saturday and all they have is like this little stop sign that tells you to stop you know what i'm saying it's not lit up there's no lights if heaven forbid you're not paying attention and you you just go through it and the other lane is turning and it's gonna be a wrap like they have got to do something about this light it seems so minor it's like why haven't y'all fixed this yet it's tuesday so they had a wedding there was a bunch of vendors like in what she called like the marketplace so when we went inside because tasha was like they gonna have a contingency plan ain't no way they just gonna you know there has to be somewhere they can do it in case of rain which there is a space upstairs but because there was a wedding and also this vendor marketplace thing they had no space for the yoga and like the yoga is a third party it's just a yoga instructor who contracts out to different vineyards to provide a class for young women to come and do yoga and get this like you know experience girl they didn't have nowhere to place us and it wasn't just like tasha like a private party it was basically like you just sign up for this class they have no idea who is enrolling so to that part they didn't know that it was like a birthday party like that people were coming to celebrate somebody's birthday they're just trying to hand out refunds give us our complimentary wine slushie and send us on our way so no so I was asking Tasha, so like, what do you want to do? Do you want to just say, forget it? Cause she was already like, let's just go to a bar. I'm like, whatever she wants to do. You know what I'm saying? This is her birthday celebration. But I was like, if you want to like stay here and figure something out, I'll go talk to him. So the lady who was like the manager, like the one who her name is on the card, who you contact about your refund. She was very dismissive. Like, she wasn't trying to offer any solutions and then she gonna say the yoga she was like the yoga instructor is about to get give an announcement she is separating herself basically because the yoga instructor was a third party she was making it like it's not our problem like we have a wedding going on we have this uh, vendor marketplace we have no place to do yoga it is what it is which I feel like on a regular day, okay, that would have been fine because get your little complimentary, complimentary wine, your complimentary wine, you can have a seat, get, you know, do whatever because that's what some of the other girls did. I saw them as we was walking around. They just grabbed a seat, got more wine and was just enjoying the day. But like, no, this is Tasha's birthday and it sounds just like y'all need to have, I don't know, there needs to be some kind of drop down box or something because Tasha basically just sent out the invitations to us and was like, hey, roll into the yoga class. But like there needs to be some way that when like Tasha initiated it, 
that it was like an alert or something that was saying like hey this is a group of girls coming for a birthday party because when we was arriving there was like a tour like Tasha said that was an option but she didn't do that she did the yoga class and I guess moving forward if you go it's called Daniel's Vineyard or whatever do the little tour bus because they're going to account for the fact that you're going on a tour they had a little bus I don't know if the bus was a part of it or they did a tour bus I don't know the details but it was like they was very well this manager was very dismissive of the fact that like we got like 15 Tasha had like 15 20 people there for this yoga class and they was just like here you go like no so basically they gave her when I went to go talk to her I was like what can we do I understand, you know, the rain and you, you're overbooked, but like we're here and this is what she chose. This is where she chose to celebrate her birthday. Like, what can we do? And she was like, yeah, I understand. We can get you guys some mimosa towers so that, um, you know, you guys can still celebrate. So they gave us four mimosa towers. You know, like we had to do all of that. I had to keep circling back to her because I think she was just going to, say whatever like i have other things like at the wedding blah 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 so tasha ended up having a good time which is what mattered but like yo i was like y'all would have us ready to not come back because the way they was basically making like the yoga girl the yoga instructor in charge of the bad news is bad business this is not on her she's just a third party that contracts out here she don't control the spaces she don't control any of that y'all do y'all overbooked yourself like we all know that with outdoor events there needs to be a contingency plan which y'all have those but when you book this many events and you only have like two space you got three events that require being outside obviously the wedding is going to take priority and it's going to get the contingency plan you can't tell them sorry it rained and then the ven the vendors same thing they done brought all their goods you can't just have them out in the rain destroying all their merchandise so then it's like we got the oh will whereas you should have canceled the yoga and been like we're gonna have to put this on a different day because we already have a wedding and we have a vendor market there's no space for the yoga in case of rain but instead i guess they crossed their fingers and was like hopefully it just doesn't rain girl a whole hot mess i just didn't get a chance to talk about it because it was the end of the vlog and i was like we can talk about it next week but like what an experience like i think it could have been a vibe so here we are basically saying i never got to do the yoga remember when i was like oh i've never got i've never done yoga before i still haven't <laughs> because it was canceled let me we had eight we almost had nine minutes let me end the clip so we can because we got more to talk about all right and then today I have a doctor's appointment. I'm not like working from home or anything. I'm just, it's at a weird time. It's at like 11. So I'm like, I'm just gonna leave at 10, go do my class, my class, go do my doctor's appointment and then just come back to work for like the afternoon. But I'm also going to go get my pants altered because I've been trying to figure out where to fit that in. Next couple weekends are kind of like booked and busy as far as how, um, lord kentucky state homecoming is this weekend so we got a like outfit plan for that the weekend after i'm going to go see my sister i just think i made that worse the weekend after that i gotta go to see my sister it just feels like weekend after weekend there's something going on and they close at six i don't have enough time honest i do but i don't i may have enough time to get there but to all to actually be like get an opportunity to get fitted so I'm like, I'm just going to go over there after and like head back to work, even if that means to kind of like make up some time and stay later because um, I got a lot to work on anyway. It's not like I don't have stuff to do. They canceled our weekly meeting this morning because I believe a lot of leadership is going to be out of the building. So hopefully that means like a lot of time to like work on stuff because I got a few little things that I need to do. So this afternoon right because we're leaving did i give the itinerary we're leaving thursday night so that gives me tonight and tomorrow to get like outfit plans and packed i'm gonna pack wednesday so today needs to be about 
once I get home need to be about like getting the outfits together. I feel like I don't, other than a fitted long sleeve tee. After work, I may go to Target because I don't have one of those. White is one of those categories that I don't have a lot of. Like I try to, but I really need to figure out, I don't know, bleach, uh, something to keep the white white. Like, I don't even know, but it just doesn't last. Like I've definitely bought white tops over the, over, you know, in the past but they don't last. And every time I'm looking for it, I'm like, where are all my white t-shirts? Like, they just don't last. So I need a fitted white long sleeve t-shirt. I think that's really it. And then I'm gonna like talk to Jermaine a little bit because I really don't know what to wear for Saturday. Like that's the, the tailgate. Most people wear their Nelia and I don't have a lot of it. I have a cardigan. And if I choose to wear the cardigan, I'm trying to figure out what to do with that like it feels like the only thing really to do is wear like some black jeans and then like some cute shoes to kind of like make it look like something but then it's like what jack i don't have what jacket goes over it so it, it just feels like i'm missing stuff and i don't want to have to like buy things for it to make sense you know so i'm gonna talk to jermaine and see like what his thoughts are what he's wearing and try to go from there like or i've been wanting like a black denim jacket forever but once again i'm trying not to buy anything for it and i don't want just like i want a long one not like a short fitted jean jacket i want like a long oversized black denim jacket so when I go to Target, I may just look around, see what's going on and see what we can put together for Saturday. But I wanna to talk to Jermaine first. So I just wanted to like touch in with you guys. Sometimes the best time for me to do these chats is in the car. I'm not doing anything but driving to work. And I just, that's what's happening. So I'll probably talk to y'all like after we get the pants fitted, hopefully everything goes well. I did return the other pants very easy i don't know why i was like dragging my feet about that when i went in there he was like um i had grabbed like a bag to repatch it repackage it because i tore them i never open the bags gently i just like rip them down the middle and then it looked terrible so i was like grabbing a bag and he was like what is that uh sheen i think he called it sheen he was like what is that sheen and i was like no fashion nova he was like, yeah, we could probably just like roll this up. He was like, we should be able to just stick the tag on it without you needing to get a new bag. I was like, oh, for real? He was like, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. And I was like, oh, yay. So I did, he made that easy, he returned that. So now we can focus on getting the pants altered. I don't know how this is gonna look like once I transfer this over to like the computer because it's so dark, but I wanted to talk to you guys. I, I guess I could have talked on the way to the doctor's office but it's okay, it's a little aesthetic, it'd be fine. All right guys, I will talk to you guys when we are headed to like do the errands. All right guys, so I've started packing. Nothing serious, just trying to get like my thoughts together um, because basically we'll be there for three nights. Four days, three nights, right? Something like that. So I'm trying to like figure out life, right? And I'm thinking this here is going to be like, okay, let's start from, wait, okay. Yeah, that's right. Let's start this way. So like this random like pink shirt with the pink pants is like what I'm going to wear down there because it's going to be late, like after work. Like I think Jermaine wants to leave at like seven. So I'm just gonna throw on whatever and I'm just gonna throw on this like pink stuff. It's like a pink shirt with like these pink swish swish pants that I showed you. And then for the yard fest, I'm still kind of undecided. I know this isn't the best way to look at stuff, but it's late. I may do a better job tomorrow where we can like sit down and like pack it, but it's almost time for bed and like my brain couldn't rest until I at least kind of mapped out something so these are a pair of like blue jeans right the main piece is this yellow thing that i showed y'all and i'm trying to make sense of it whether i should wear like 
khaki with the yellow with the gray or with the blue jean and I don't know but I'm kind of leaning towards this combination because I want to wear my pumas and I feel like my pumas look better with this combo right but you know me I'm gonna bring it all so that's Friday then Saturday is the tailgate so I'm torn between wearing like something for my sorority um I have a cardigan either way I'm wearing like leggings and then I have this jersey that I got from work that I'm like when am I ever gonna wear this so like this jersey here I don't know who this player is or whatever but it's the Nets and I was like this could be cute with some leggings and then this is my Columbia jacket that's red that I could throw over either one of these and then this is like the coming home outfit just like some <laughs> a black long sleeve and some pants so this is the outfits and then like obviously we got to bring the jury I know you're like girl you got this nasty shoe on your bed I just wanted y'all to see like what was going on but I think this is a good start I'm gonna fold all of it up and put it in my suitcase and we can probably walk through like because I'll need shoes whatever shoes I decide to wear for this I'll probably end up wearing like slides there and back but I think I'm just gonna wear like my black adidas because when we went that one year it's like a big field I don't want to wear any good shoes like in a sense like my adidas are all black the white part is on the bottom but I just I have you know other options I have like black and white converse have other another pair of white and black adidas but I think we're gonna go with the all black but I'm gonna check in with you guys when we're like fully packing tomorrow and I was talking to Jermaine I'm trying to decide whether I should separate the vlog like give y'all like a prep vlog of like everything we're doing and then start a fresh vlog for the homecoming but stay tuned Hey guys, so it's after work. It's Wednesday. Like we leave tomorrow and I really wanted to get the decorations up, you know, because it's just going to get busy. Um, I'm visiting my sister next weekend, so it's just like, when are we going to have time? So, like we're outside now trying to get our little decorations up. I'm super excited because it's our first year. Little hiccups here and there, but we're making it work. Um, Jermaine said he thinks he wants to get a few more like little, remember the fences I showed y'all? We probably need about like three more of those, but otherwise like, I'm gonna show y'all what he got so far. Can I just like flip? I'm still, you know, still learning the camera. I feel like we're zoomed in. I'm still learning the camera. So like, lining the house, like, let me zoom in. We're lining the house. We're li there we go. We're lining the house with like the little signs, but then in between, the boys are helping put up like the little little lights. Robo's having the time of his life. <laughs> but I put the mat down. Let me flip it back to me. I put the I put the um, let me zoom out. You, so I'm sorry, guys. I put the mat down. It's smaller than our other mat, but it's okay. And then we, like I said, we had the hardest time finding a welcome sign. Some we got is kind of small, but once we, I think once we get like everything together, it'll it'll look like something. So let me show y'all like what we got going so far on the other side. All right, Roman, give me the eat. See, like the little fences and then like we're just like randomly putting these things in the ground but like we don't have enough of these fences like we need more it's a dollar tree so they, <laughs> we need like one we need like two here is it done okay let me show y'all okay 
so now this is what it looks like look at it so we're lining the house all right guys look at it it's our work in progress this is what we got going on here and i showed you on the other side the only thing left is like the actual door um, and the window. But the outside part is looking good. Okay guys, so you got to see the gist of it. Jermaine's running out to get a few more things, but for the most part it's up. We are trying to get the cobwebs on the window, but we need like, it's our, like I said, it's our first year doing this. Obviously, there's going to be some kinks we're working out, but it, I think it looks great. It looks fun, and I'm just, like, excited. Um, I didn't show you guys the door, but it'll probably be, like, on the thumbnail, but it's our first year decorating. I didn't really decorate the inside. Maybe next year. It's just, I don't know if I talked about it, but I just think, like, all of the rooms are kind of... We just don't have that sitting area right now where it would make sense. I think every room is designated for the kids to like play and I just don't see like the pumpkins and the vibe of like the throw pillows, the throw blankets, like making it. They're going to be all over the place like all the time. So I think we're just going to focus on outside this year. Um, it's actually kind of late and I just need to like this. I got to do my hair. I'm going to be up all night because we're leaving tomorrow. As I said, I'm going to end off the vlog so that we can start a homecoming vlog tomorrow. The boys still need to be packed. I need to do my hair. I kind of want to look at something from work. Um, should I look here? Like, am I supposed to be looking here? Like, I look here and I hardly look crazy. But yeah, like, I literally want to look at some emails and like do some stuff so I feel like I have a lot going on and it's already eight o'clock I'm just gonna look here if it looks crazy I'm sorry but I need to know what I'm looking like and looking through the lens looks kind of weird but um yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the vlog here because I got a lot of stuff to do and you probably won't see any of that we're just gonna start off fresh tomorrow when we're on the road but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much. Reading. Good job, buddy. And I tried the pages. Okay, how many pages? 21. 21 pages. Yeah. Um, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.